Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Quick tech video for you guys. I'm back on the Gulfstream this week, so I thought I would show you guys something that I haven't shown before, and that is how to fuel the Gulfstream. There's a few different methods of fueling the Gulfstream. We can do it over wing like a, a lot of airplanes here. In fact, let me, let me walk over here and show you the uh, over wing ports here. If I can see it. There it is. There's your over wing port. But typically, we're gonna use a single point fueling, which is over here at the wing root on the, on the right wing. Let me get under here and show you real fast. This right here is the access panel for the fuel. If we pop this open. Get up in there. There is the single point fueling. And all they do is they come over here and they hook up a big no hose to that and they pump fuel in there at about 50 PSI. And we can take fuel much quicker than if we do it uh, the old fashioned over the wing style. So let me get up here real fast. There's a little pin here, holds the door open. And if you notice, there's a couple valves right over here. These are the check valves. You can check to make sure that the, uh, the fuel stopping device, if you will, works. There's a little float up in there that stops the fuel once it gets full. We don't want it to get too full, overpressurize the wings and pop wings and things like that. So we use those to check the valves to make sure that everything's working properly. And then they just pump gas in there until it stops if we uh, want to take full fuel. Or we can tell them a specific fuel amount. Or if need be, we can just stop it from inside manually. There's a button inside that we can press and it activates those floats manually and it shuts the fuel off that way. But uh, yeah, it's usually just tell them uh, 500 gallons of, of fuel with prist or negative prist and the four it's always negative prist uh, to keep the fuel from, uh, from freezing. In some airplanes they need prist. The G4 doesn't need it because we have uh, heaters inside the tanks. So usually, yeah, we just tell them put 400 gallons in or 1,000 gallons or 2,000 gallons. Whatever we need, they pump it in there and stop and that's it. But uh, if we're crossing the Atlantic, something like that, we'll tell them top it off. And they'll run it until it stops and it ends up just shy of 30,000 pounds of fuel. So like 4,500 gallons, something like that. Quite a bit of gas and we'll burn the majority of it crossing the Atlantic. So I uh, get about nine hours of flight time out of that amount of fuel. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So hopefully you guys learned a little something about the G4 here. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday video. See ya.